Okay, so full disclaimer, I don't wear makeup and this is just how my hair is going to be for the duration of this video. So I literally just got the idea to do a cat video. So I'm going to introduce you to my kitties. Here we go. So first we have Midnight and she got spayed this past Thursday, October the 22nd. So that's why she's sporting this lovely Elizabethan collar. I call her my little cone head. Also my little peanut, but yes, that's midnight. She looks like a little baby panther. She is, uh, you don't even understand how much I love her. Like she is my daughter. Technically she's my grand kitten because she is my mama cat's kitten. Well, one of her kittens. So technically she's my grand kitten, but I just call her my daughter because that's just how much I love her. And then next, laying right next to Midnight is Cartman. And yes, he is named after Cartman from the show South Park. He is, he has been the biggest out of the litter since birth. So that's why we named him Cartman. So there he is. And I love, I've always loved this little distinct, unique little dot that he has on his face, little polka dot. But there he is. And next we have Kenny. And yes, he too is named after Kenny from South Park. He's cleaning himself right now. And then next, I'm gonna introduce you to my mama kitty. This is Elle and story time about Elle. So last June, July, 2019, I had went to go to the Cash Points ATM in front of the food land that's in Walnut Cove, North Carolina. I know most people that watch this, if anyone even watches this is not gonna have any idea where Walnut Cove is but anyways so I had went to go with my mom to the cash points ATM in Walnut Cove and when I stepped out of the vehicle I seen a kitten next to the ATM and to give you a little bit of insight and perspective into where this kitten was so across the street there is a Speedway gas station and directly to the left next to the Speedway gas station is a, is a Bojangles and it's pretty busy, especially being out in the middle of nowhere. A Bojangles is going to make business. And then across the street is a shopping center and in, right in front of the shopping center in the parking lot there's a Hardee's and the shopping center is basically Food Lion, a pharmacy, a state farm, Showtime video, and tanning, and I already said Food Lion, but anyways. This was in, in North Carolina. It's very hot in the summer and she was basically baking in, on the asphalt, the concrete, whatever. So I seen her and before she could run, I picked her up. I showed her to my mom and we went and got food for her and she ate like she hadn't eaten in at least three days. And the poor thing was flea ridden and then we took her to the vet clinic in Kernersville, North Carolina. And they weighed her and she weighed only 18 ounces. And without knowing exactly when she was born and taking her weight and everything else into consideration, they estimated that at that time she was between five to six weeks old, but they weren't positive and who knows how long she had even been out there and how much of a miracle it was that she even survived. But She's definitely a far cry from 18 ounces now. She is happy. She is healthy. Um, the way that she came to have kittens was um, everywhere that I lived before, during, and after finding Elle, cats were not, do not scratch the sand, cats were not allowed. So she was staying at my aunt's house. And my aunt knew not to let her outside because at the time she was not old enough to be spayed. So my aunt knew not to let her outside. Well, once she became old enough to be spayed, I had not been able to get her spayed. And then COVID hit. So then I really wasn't able to get her spayed. So long story short, what I'm told from my aunt is she got out she wasn't let out that's that's the story that my aunt gives so anyways long story short there are a bunch of male stray cats in that neighborhood and so my cat ended up pregnant and 
previously from a different litter of kittens that my aunt had because she tends to have female cats and she never goes and gets them spayed and they get outside and they get pregnant. Um, I had previously had a kitten named Keanu and my aunt had either let him outside or put him outside and there was a black stray cat in the neighborhood, a big black cat that, anyways, apparently this cat had drugged my kitten and my kitten Keanu died as a result. So, number one, I didn't want Elle to get pregnant again because I don't know if you know anything about cats, but unless you're breeding cats, it's pretty much, as far as the female goes, she only ends up pregnant by assault. So, you know, no consent, poor kitty. So, I didn't want her getting pregnant again, and I didn't want, it, want any of these kittens to end up the way that Keanu did. So, I came and I rescued them. And I'm going on and on, so I'm going to end this video pretty soon, but I just wanted to show any viewer what my cats love to play with. So, they love this box. As you can tell, they like to claw it and chew on it, and they like to lay in here. It's like the perfect size for all of them, so they like to lay in here. And then I have two other boxes for them to play with. And then there are eight balls well eight or nine i think there are like eight plastic ones that we got in a pack from dollar tree and then one tennis ball that came from PetSmart. and they like to paw them behind the trash can so but they love those and then i had gotten them a one from dollar tree because the wand they managed to break the one that we had gotten them originally so we went to Dollar Tree and got them a cheap wand. And that wand is outside. They got poop on it. And then they have a blue and a pink toy. Both of them look like cats. I'm not exactly sure where the blue one is right now. Oh, here it is. I know that the pink one is outside because they got poop on it. But there this is. They like to play with it. Tenny snuff on it. <laughs> And Cartman's over there with a ball. Elle's got a ball. Midnight's loving this blue thing. Um, I have to pick the handbag back up because they love to knock it off. So, but yeah, that's, that's my cats. And just typical day. Cleaning up after my cats. I love, I love my cats so much. They keep, they keep me busy. They keep me on my toes. And I guess the only other thing to show would just be... I found this at Walmart and it reminded me of Midnight, my spooky season kitty. So I had to get that and then I guess I can show the viewers, if there are going to be any, um, the, this is their scratching post. Can't tell this, this gets a lot of use. And I recently started trying kitten crystals because Cartman would not use a litter box with regular litter so sometimes he will use a litter box with the crystals but he still is using the shower so and as you can see my cats love me they love to be where i'm at so they just they follow me but i feel like i've been rambling and ranting so at nine minutes i'm gonna stop recording because <laughs> this this i feel like i've been dragging i don't want to be off on a tangent but Say bye, kitties.